Hey, what's up, guys? This is Crafty Fox of Minecraft Multi Force, and today we are making the Boeing C 17 Globemaster 3. So, this is a military transport aircraft used by the United States Air Force, and in real life, it's manufactured by McDonnell Douglas, and that merged with Boeing, so it's just called the Boeing C 17 now. And the uh, design for this is actually by Mikkel Paka. Uh, but the reason why we haven't like released the tutorial out before is uh, we had to like modify the wings and the tail to make it more accurate along with some other things so I redesigned the wings and to make them more like swept down uh, before they were kind of like straight out so you can see around the front and uh, Sunset Aurora she also helped with the wings and the tail and she also like redid the cockpit a little bit so yeah this is what it looks like all around and this is going to be a very very long tutorial because this is quite complex so i hope you guys like how the build turned out and uh, i really like it as well and it would be a great addition to add to your uh, military base so anyways let's get started so first off i'm going to be making the fuselage and the tail all right so first we're going to start off with an upper stone brick slab floating above the ground make it two blocks long and I'm going to add a 2x2 two two of cobblestone wall on the very top. And then I'm going to add wheels to the sides. So we're going to make Oreo wheels using nether brick stairs in like a 2x2 two two circular, circular shape. Same thing on the other side. And then on top, we're going to add stone block. Let's make it three blocks long. And upper uh, stone brick slab sticking out at the very uh, front of it. And then we're going to go diagonally up and add a stone block. Then we're going to add a stone brick slab sticking out. And then we'll add three blocks tall stone block. And a stone block in the middle of that. And then we're going to take stone brick stairs and add it below and above it. Then we'll add a stone block right behind the very top. And a block stained glass block with a stone brick slab on the very top. And next, we're going to add an, uh, diagonally up another stone brick slab. And diagonally up again, and a stone brick stairs. Behind it, we'll add a stone block. And then, an, uh, and then we're going to go diagonally up and add two stone brick slabs like so. And we'll add a stone block. And we're going to make this top section 41 blocks long, so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventy eighteen nineteen twenty one two two three two four two five two six two seven two eight eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine forty forty one then we'll go diagonally up from there and add stone brick slab and we'll make it six blocks long so one two three four five six then we'll add 18 stone blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen then we'll add stone brick stairs and a stone brick slab and add stone brick stairs underneath the slab and another slab sticking out of the bottom stairs all right then we'll add more to the front. So let's go underneath. I'm going to add uh, two stone brick slabs, an upper slab right behind that cobblestone wall. And then we'll take stone block and we'll add 37. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 7, 2, 8, 2, 8, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. All right. As for the back section, we're going to add, uh, looks to be three stone brick slabs. One, two, three. Diagonally up, uh, two stone blocks, stone brick slab. Then we'll add four stone blocks here. Stone brick slab. And then three stone blocks. Or is it three? I don't know. It's hard to see from here. Yeah, it looks to be three. 
and then stone brick slab, and then four stone blocks. One, two, three, four. Two slabs. Then four stone blocks again. One, two, three, four. Two slabs. Right there. And what else is there? There's three stone blocks here. Two slabs. And then four stone blocks. One, two, three, four. Diagonally up, let's add one stone block there. Diagonally up again, stone block there. And fill that in. Then we'll add a stone brick slab right in that little nook. All right. So next, we're going to go to where these two stone brick slabs are and add a wall of uh, stone inside and just fill all that in like so. All right, so let's work on the actual tail. Go right towards the back, skip these two stone blocks, add stone block here, one. And we're going to go dangly up, and I'm going to tell you how long to put each part. So first one is one, then we're going to add two, another two, then we're going to add one, and then two, and do that three times, so two again, two again, and then we're going to add one, one, and put a stairs behind this one, so stonebrook stairs right behind there, add one again, and then we're going to add another one on top of there. All right, and then we're going to make this top section so it's uh, 12 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then we're going to skip a block in the front, add stone brick stairs. And then we'll add two stone blocks. And then four stone brick slabs. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Add a redstone repeater in the front on top. And this is just for like that tail light that's red. And then let's start to make the front area. All right, so we'd go under here and add a stone block underneath. Then we'd go dangly up towards the front. And I'll tell you again how many to put for each layer. So next layer, we'd add a two. so. Next layer is one, and then two, and then one, and then we're going to add yellow, just the yellow one, and add stone underneath. Then we're going to add um, two, or actually just one, and then next one is two. And then we'll have three ones, so one, two, three. If you did it right, it looks like this. And then we're going to go make this yellow stripe that goes across, leaving a gap of space in between that and the back section. We're going to add a lapisuli in that little nook. And you'll notice that we have this thing right here. So we're going to make that. That's like what the thing that turns. It might be called the Elyrion or whatever. So we're going to take stone brick uh, block, go to where this yellow is. We're going to skip one, add it, stone brick right there. And we're going to go dangly uh, towards the back up, add two, another two, and add one. And the reason it cuts off there is because, like, um, that's where like the tail is. Um, so back to this, we're going to add a TNT. Now everyone's asking like what, why are you using TNT? But that's how you make the American flag in Minecraft. <laughs> so we're going to add TNT there. Lapis Lily next to it. If you don't want to use TNT, you can use brick. So next we're going to add two gray concretes here. Right underneath that Lapis Lily. And we're going to go straight down. Go one block forward and then add three gray concrete blocks. So it looks like this. Then we're going to fill all this in with stone block. So I just go across, just filling it all in. It should be 
Okay. Yeah, okay. You know, I should probably leave this timeless. Since you don't really need to explain stuff, this video is gonna probably be really long. Where's the sweat? You're so peaceful along back. That is too hot. But for some reason I can't see that at all. Alright, so once we're done with that, we're to go um, add this little iron trap door for no reason. <laughs> a little bit of detail. So we're gonna skip four stone blocks here. One, two, three, four, add iron trap door. And then we're going to go to the front and add a little lever. Uh, we're going to skip two blocks of stone, add a lever so it's facing the back like that. Alright, so next we're going to make this uh, bottom floor area three blocks wide. So go extend this a little bit. One block on each side, these stone brick slabs, and the stone block all the way across. I just noticed these things change a little bit when you're placing them, don't they? I don't know. Um, back over here, let's add stone brick slab, and we want to add it it's three blocks wide here. I guess you don't go all the way over here. Let's go do the other side, all the way across. Alright, cool. So now we're going to make um, the fuselage the round shape. So let's start where the wheel is. Uh, from the back, let's add a um, stone brick slab right next to the wheel, like so. I wonder if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. And then we're going to add a stone block. So we make this part um, five blocks wide. Should be adjacent to the rear of the front wheel. And then we'll add an uptick at the sides. Add stone brick stairs. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to add stone brick stairs upside down on the sides at the very top. And then we're going to take stone block and we're going to add it so it is four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four stone brick slab on top and then upside down stone brick stairs right inside like so all right and then we'll add stone brick slab on top of that stairs and then add three stone blocks in between one two three all right and for the one in the front of that we're going to add stone brick slabs to the sides of this. Add another upside down stone brick stairs. And then right side up stone brick stairs on the side. Then we'll take stone block. We're going to add um, two blocks. Stone brick stairs upside down underneath. stone block both sides and stone block again so it's three blocks wide and then we'll also add in um, a stone bricks uh, slab underneath this part so it looks like this so far really nice so next we're gonna make this cockpit window three blocks wide black stained glass block add one behind it on the sides and then we're going to add a uh, black stained glass pane on the side of that in the back. And another black stained glass block right behind that pane. Like so. Alright, then we're going to take stone brick slab. And we're going to add it um, these two blocks diagonally. So it kind of looks like a little triangle. Like that. And you'll see like this little hole here. We want to fill that in with uh, another brick slab. So we got like these little eye eyebrows right there. And then we're gonna go on top, add two stone brick slabs right here on the sides. Like so. Alright, so back to this. We're gonna take stone block. And we're gonna make this part three blocks wide. And we're gonna take black stained glass block, make add it like one underneath 
the back window so it looks like this then we'll add stone brick stairs two of them one right side up one upside down on the sides And then we'll take um, stone brick stairs, add one right there, in front of the window, add a stone block underneath, with a stone brick stairs underneath, but we're going to face that outwards, like so. And then we're going to add a stone brick stairs on the side here, with a stone block right behind it, same thing on the other side. So then we're going to add two stone brick stairs that are facing each other underneath. Right over here underneath this part. And it's a little bit tricky to placing these. So sorry if I'm taking a bit long. Like that. So you want the same shape on the other side. So let's place some blocks temporarily. So we can get it right side up other side same thing like so and then next we're going to add a stone brick slab underneath this part with a stone block right behind it same thing on the other side stone brick slab and a stone block all right and then we're going to add a gray concrete block and we'll place it behind this part like so and we'll add a like so and we'll add a stone block on top of it same thing on the other side then we'll add a dark oak wooden button on the side this uh, stone block same thing on the other side so then we're going to go inside here and add gray wool three blocks inside and gray wool on the next layer just like in the middle if you can get that right and we'll add black stained glass block on the outer parts so now we have that little black window so then we're going to go to the side here add stone brick stairs on the side of the stone block and then on top we're going to add stone block and this behind it we're going to add stone block same thing on the other side, add stone brick stairs, and stone block on top and behind. Alright, so we then, let's go back to the side. We're going to add another stone block underneath this uh, gray concrete. And we'll add a stone brick slab in that little nook to fill that hole in. Same thing on the other side. Like so. Alright, cool. Now let's go on and work on the sides of the fuselage. So we're going to take a stone block and we're going to add it to the side of this stone brick stairs. Like that. And then we'll add a stone brick slab underneath. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to go to the side of this stone brick slab. I'm going to add four. So one two three four same thing on the other side one two three four and then um, I'm gonna go down over here and take out stone brick slab and at three one two three same thing on the other side one two three we add a stone block behind this stone brick slab and we're going to make it so it is 15 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we're going to go uh, back over to the front. Skip a block, add stone brick slab. And we're going to make it so it's 5 long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Go right over here. 15 blocks long or you can just extend it to however much the other side is you just make a mirror image then five so yeah five stone brick slabs 
And behind that, we're going to add stone brick stairs. So it is six blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And next, we're going to add two stone blocks here, right behind. And two stone blocks sticking out on the sides. Same thing on the other side. So it kind of looks like an L shape. Then we're going to take stone brick slab. And we're going to make a little three block L shape on the corners inside this little nook. Then we're going to go to the back and make this a three by three. Like so. And in the back, we're going to make it a three by five. Okay. So next we're going to go behind this stone block and we're going to go down diagonally at stone brick slab so that it is seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to go to the front diagonally towards the side at one like that. And then do the same thing on the other side. So seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And add one over here, like so. And next we're going to add another snow brick slab over here, diagonally forward. And on this other side, we want to add a snow brick slab like that. So kind of like curves, like a little cane. Same thing over here. And then we'll take a um, stone block. And we're going to fill in this uh, middle area in. Let's go all the way across on the inside part, like so. Same thing on the other side. We're going to leave like, the outer edge alone. And then we're going to add stone to the outer edge. Same thing on the other side. Then on the side, we're going to skip this stone block here. Add two stone brick slabs and we're going to add three stone brick stairs and a stone block and same thing on the other side so skip one here two slabs three stairs and a stone block all right and then next we're going to go under here where this stone brick slab is and then we're going to make it uh, two stone blocks wide towards the inside part same thing on the other side. And we're going to make this part so that it is eight blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And put one on the side of that. Same thing on the other side. Like so. Then we're going to add a stone block right over here. Right behind this one. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll add some wheels. So let's take uh, two by two, um, another brick. Um, stairs like this, make our Oreo wheels, make a pair like that, skip a block of space, and another pair. Let's do the same thing on the other side. And then the other pair, and there'll be another pair because there's a whole bunch of wheels underneath this plane. I'm going to add iron trap door right above the wheels like this. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to take a stone block. Let's add a road so it reaches the back all alongside this part. Same thing on the other side. Alright, so we're going to add some more wheels, so let's line it up the same place where the other wheels are. But we're going to place it on the outer edge like this. Some more Oreo wheels. And then we'll add a second pair. Just skip a block of space in between that and the other one so that it looks like this. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Continue on with the wheels. <laughs> this is going to be a quite a really long tutorial. I don't know if I can even finish it all today. Cause I'm, I'm barely even starting with this.
but uh, oh well, we'll finish it one day. All right. So then we're gonna add two by two cops and walls in between the wheels, with two stone slabs underneath the cops and walls like so, and you should probably put the stone slabs first because it makes it a whole lot easier to place the cops and walls and then next step, we're going to add iron bars, I mean iron trap doors right above this area, so let's make it two blocks wide like that, go all the way across and you want to make sure it goes one block past the other iron trap door that we already have same thing on the other side so take our iron trap doors two blocks wide we're not putting it on the outer edge because there's that's where the hatch is all right cool all right so next we're going to add stone brick slab five blocks here one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to take a stone block, add three blocks on the side of this stone brick slab. So one, two, three. Other side, one, two, three. And then we're going to go diagonally outwards, like that. Add another stone. And we're going to extend it all the way over there, just right before the other stone block. So we'll continue on like this all the way right there just stop right when you meet that stone block same thing on the other side like so all right so now we're going to add um stone block right behind just skip one block here and add a stone block right there and a stone brick stairs same thing on the other side. Stone block, stone brick stairs. We're going to go behind this stone block and add a 2 by 3 stone brick slabs. Same thing on the other side. And then um, right at this side, we're going to add two stone brick slabs like that. Other side, same thing. And, and then we're going to take stone block and just fill all this in with stone all the way same thing on the other side like so alright cool so then we're going to add a stone block in that little hole here fill that in so now let's work on the tail right over here so go right over here towards the back skip two blocks away and go one block down add a stone brick slab and we're going to make it three blocks long same thing on the other side one two three and then we're going to go um, diagonally backwards and add four one two three four same thing on the other side and then we're going to go diagonally down and back and we're going to add another four two three four and diagonally back add another four one two three four same thing on the other side go down and add four go back another four and right at the tip um, we want to make it three blocks long one two three and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side so we're going to extend it by two over here and then we want to make the other side so it connects back to the tail so we're going to make this two blocks long and add another two block two block again another two block and then we're going to fill all this, all the parts in uh, what we have so far at the tip of this horizontal stabilizer. 
So we should have four of these pairs right there. Same thing on the other side. So get four pairs, two, three, four, and then fill all this in. And you'll notice it goes right before this goes up. All right, so then uh, we'd go diagonally up, forward, and then we'll add two, another two, another two, and then one. Same thing on the other side. So it's basically just like a bunch of twos in this slope. Then one. So then we're gonna take stone brick stairs, add one upside down here. Go to the, like the next notch, add another upside down. Next notch, another upside down, so we have three of these. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to fill all the rest in of this hole with um, stone brick block. And it looks like I messed up over here, so let me fix that. Stone brick block all the way in. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, of course. Stone brick block. Once we do that, we're going to add in a detail. I forgot to add those dark oak wooden buttons. We're going to go right inside this yellow stripe. Skip one block of this uh, gray concrete down below and add four uh, dark oak wood buttons. Same thing on the other side. And by the way, for this tail, you can customize it however you want. Uh, C-17s, they have like a different stripe for different units stationed in different places so you can switch it out. So next we're going to go right behind this gray concrete replace these stone blocks with stone brick blocks two blocks tall and we're going to make a slope down continuing this line down so let's add another another two block another two block and then one block like so and at that one block we're going to take stone brick slab and we're going to add three blocks wide, like that. Same thing on the other side. Then we'll go to this uh, stone brick slab, and we're going to skip four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Add stone brick slab, four blocks long, and then two stone brick stairs. Same thing on the other side. Four slabs and then two stairs, and then we're gonna take stone block and add, uh, so it's 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. Then we're gonna add two stone brick slabs, like that. So next we're gonna go right in front of this iron trap door and we're gonna skip 11 blocks of space. So two, four, six, eight, ten, and 11 and then add an iron trap door. Delete these blocks. I'm gonna skip a block of space, add um, <laughs> stone brick slabs. I'm gonna make it five blocks wide. And then we're going to add um, two more to the corners. So like one, two. Make the outer edge two blocks long like that. Same thing on the other side. So we're making kind of like this circular shape. So go out by two. Make the outer edge two blocks long. And then we go diagonally inwards. So go diagonally inwards till we reach the middle. And there should be three blocks of space or three blocks wide in the middle like that. And then we're gonna fill the rest in with still brick slabs. Like so. All right, cool. Then we're gonna go ahead, take a stone block and go right on the side of this, 
fill that in for the rest of the roof all the way across to where the circle is. Same thing on the other side. Alright, cool. And then we're to go to the front over here, go all the way across as well, making this three blocks wide. And you don't have to go all the way into that circle since you won't really see it unless you're making some kind of like interior like that and by the way go over here we need to fill in that hole with stone block so then we're going to go to the side and add three stone blocks here next layer down below we're going to add two and same thing on the other side so three then two and the side over here we're going to add two stone brick slabs and stone brick stairs. Same thing over here. Two slabs and a stairs. Okay, so then we're going to take stone block and we're going to add seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same thing on the other side. Like that. And then we're going to add stone brick stairs right here with a slab in the front. Same thing on the other side. Stairs and a slab. Alright, then we're going to take stone block and fill it all in until it reaches that circle that we made. So it just covers it. Same thing on the other side. Continue that until it reaches circle. I'm going to add stone brick slab here. Stone brick stairs next to it. Same thing on the other side. Stone brick slab and then the stairs. And then we're going to take stone block and extend it till it reaches uh, that stairs underneath. Or right above, I mean. Like that. Same thing on the other side. And did I place it here? I don't even remember. Uh, yes, it is right there underneath that stairs. Okay. Now, right, we're going to add one more stone block past that stairs. And on this level, we're going to add stone brick stairs and a slab. So it kind of goes downwards a bit, diagonally. Same thing on the other side. Like so. So then we're going to go right behind the stone block and we're going to add four stone brick stairs facing inside one two three four one two three four and then we'd go uh, diagonally outwards and we're going to add stone brick stairs like this and we want to make sure that is five blocks long so one two three four five and then add a stone block same thing on the other side one, two, three, four, five, and then a stone block. All right, then we're going to go to this stone brick stairs right here. And let's continue it down with stone block like this all the way down. And we're going to make it five blocks wide towards the front. So one, two, three, four, five, and just pretty much fill all this in like so and of course again <laughs> same thing on the other side make it five blocks long all the way down this is really straining my voice right now I need to like drink some water and eat I'm pretty hungry alright so once we got that down then we're gonna go to the side here Add some more stone above and on the side of that. And then we're going to add six stone blocks in front of here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then um, same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then right under here, we're going to add stone brick slabs all the way across underneath the stone. 
Same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna add stone stairs upside down, like that. And another one diagonally up. Another one diagonally up. Same thing on the other side. So that is like three. So two, three, and then the right side up on top. And go diagonally up another one like that. Diagonally up another one. Same thing on the other side. All right, cool. And then we're gonna take stone block and go to right where uh, these two meet and we're gonna add stone all the way across like this. And everything below it, we're gonna fill it in with stone as well. Like so. And I'm leaving the top alone for now because that's where the US Air Force words are gonna be <clears throat> or whatever. Air Force is using, I know like Canadian and the Royal Air Force, they use it, and the Australians as well. Alright, so for the type, US Air Force, we're going to take gray concrete and we're going to add it in this little nook here. Bam. Skip a block, add two here. Skip a block, and then we're going to add four. One, two, three, four. Other side, we're kind of like reversing the pattern. So right here, add one. Skip one, add two, skip one, and then fill in the rest like that. And we're going to take um, stone block, fill in all this area in so that there is no more hole anymore. We're going to add a little bit of detail using dark oak wooden button. Go to the middle of this, uh, skip one block down, add dark oak wood button, skip block, and add three to the sides like so and then same thing on the other side so three skip one add one like so then we're gonna go to the wheel go right above where this open space is and add an upper stone brick slab all the way across like that same thing on the other side like so then we're going to go diagonally down and add stone brick slab like that all the way across. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll add a stone brick stairs right side up underneath like this. And we want to continue it all the way across. And of course, same thing on the other side. Like so. This is definitely going to be a two-parter. Alright. Almost done with the landing gear. Come on. Okay, so back to over here. We're going to take stone block. Add a side here. And, uh, yeah, just add, like, how many blocks? Let's say six. So one, two three four five six same thing on the other side one two three four five six and then we're gonna add well we're actually gonna skip this block here add a stone brick slab stone brick stairs and then stone block uh, let's add four one two three four and a stone brick slab here Actually, two slabs and then the stairs. Same thing on the other side. So skip one here, slab, stairs, four stone blocks, then two slabs and stairs. All right, back over here, we could add stone block like that. And let's add it so that it is 14 blocks long. So one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then we're going to go up here, skip two blocks of stone, add stone brick slab, and add 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
And I'm going to add another stone to the back. Same thing on the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Add another stone to the back. And then we're going to go behind here. Add a stone brick slab. Add a stone underneath. Stone brick stairs to the side. Stone underneath that one. And another stone brick stairs. Same thing on the other side. So slab and then two diagonal, I guess. Stone blocks with stairs in the front of it. Like so. Then I'm going to go to the side. Add a stone block here. And a slab on the outer edge. And then two stairs. Same thing on the other side. A stone with a slab and then two stairs. All right, so let's go back to the front. Skip the stone here. And let's add two slabs and then two stairs. And fill in the middle with uh, stone blocks all the way across. And also the layer on the very top. Same thing on the other side. So skip this one here. Um, two slabs, two stairs, fill the rest in with stone, all the way across. And then the next layer, all the way across as well. Alright, cool. And then we'd go to the side over here and add it a stone block right above this one. Should be on the inner part of the stairs. And then we're gonna go all the way up with the stone till we reach the same level as this one and then we can connect them together so it looks like that. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Like this, all the way up. And then we can connect them together at the very top. And then we're gonna add a stone underneath this little nook and delete the corners so it looks like this. Let's add a stone brick slab in like that. Two blocks on either side. And then we're going to take stone block and then add in the next layer in the middle all the way across. Same thing on the other side towards the circle thing. The bulge as you call it. And then um, down over here, let's go right underneath this layer. So right underneath the slab, add a stone, uh, row all the way across to the front. Like that, and we're gonna fill it all this area in with stone, like whatever that is, the whole fuselage, just fill that in. Like so, and my throat's kinda sore because I've been talking so long, it's been like hours. It's literally been hours, like, <laughs> a while ago I checked it, it was like one hour and like 40 minutes or something, but now it's probably like, I don't know, three hours or something. Let's fill in the rest. Definitely gonna have to have two parts, and I'm not sure if I want to like record the whole video in one day, because this is kind of intense. And if you're still building with me, thank you. <laughs> You're probably like really rare. Everyone probably gave up by now. This is such a big build. So same thing on the other side. And just fill that in. Holy cross. Right. The button the top. You want to pull this part. And then we'll we'll actually plug in this whole entire hole. Alright, cool. So I think that's pretty much it for what I'm doing for part one. I'm going to have a separate video for part two. Finish up the fuselage and the back and also the wings and the engines. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button down below. And subscribe if you had already because that's when you'll be notified when I'll have part two of the C-17 Glowmasters 3. And thanks to Mikael Paka and Sunset Aurora for helping me build this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.